Oh, this next dude, man, you guys are going to like him. Um, he is America's favorite old man, which he claims you can Google and you'll see a picture of him next to a dinosaur. So, <laughs> give it up for Arizona Lou! <laughs> And thank you for letting an old guy up here. <laughs> you ask how old? How old? Sir, you didn't say anything. You don't care, do you? <laughs> well, I'm 82. <laughs> thank you for that whooping sympathy applause. <laughs> you know, you've got to stay active. Let's hear it by applause if anybody here has done any yoga. And your name? Alexis. Alexis. Alexis, namaste. <laughs> now, you know, people who know yoga, and I need to explain to the rest of you, that's yoga speak for, hi, y'all. <laughs> I know about this yoga stuff because I took my first class on the Hatteras Island for the view <laughs> of the ocean. And Heather, our instructor, said, just relax. Well, she had us holding the two by four. <laughs> you yoga types call that the plank position. <laughs> That's like me telling you to relax with one foot at the dock and the other on the boat. <laughs> I go down farther, but I hurt myself. <laughs> or drag him on the floor. <laughs> now you back there would be laughing if I wasn't just a little guy <laughs> and so white. <laughs> and the hardest for me to hold was the doggy style. <laughs> you yoga types call that the downward facing dog <laughs> because you haven't yet invented the gangnam style. <laughs> that wasn't all I had to hold. I had a determined methane bubble that desperately wanted to reach the atmosphere. <laughs> now some of you know that's a fart. <laughs> With concerted effort, I was able to hold it. <laughs> Not the doggy style. I wasn't the only one with a pesky methane bubble. Someone let one escape. <laughs> and it was one of those minimal displacement, extended duration, high amplitude expulsions. <laughs> you call that a long, loud? <laughs> well. Except it's a toot if you're from Apache Junction. <laughs> and I, uh, that's not all I'm holding. I'm holding t shirts. <laughs> I've got your size. <laughs> Ten bucks, all profits go to Alzheimer's research. Yeah. If I remember. <laughs> I'm old, but I'm not famous yet. <laughs> you get one of these t-shirts, they're out there, and you can say, I got this t-shirt from Arizona Lou before he was so dead. <laughs> My goal here was to come in and, and still stay alive <laughs> to the end of the five minutes and hey, I'm still alive. <laughs> Out there I also have, and this is no joke, the 10 early signs of Alzheimer's. You can pick one up and use it with Aunt Molly. <laughs> <laughs> Number one on the list is you forget stuff. I think that should be the whole list. <laughs> and then there's avoiding people and social situations. 
That's not my problem, because I'm here with you folks. I always enjoy it every time I come here to San Antonio. <laughs> I had voice surgery, and sometimes my voice goes up high. It's embarrassing. You ought to try doing stand-up comedy sounding like Martha Stewart. <laughs> it's really embarrassing on the telephone. I'll say, hello. May I please speak to the man of the house? I am the man. <laughs> oh, that's a... Cell phones don't make that noise anymore. That's called a legacy phone sound. <laughs> or worse yet, I'll say, Hello? Are your parents home? <laughs> yes. They're up on the mantle. <laughs> you people are a lot of fun. I'm glad I came on back. You came on back. Slower enough for me yet. I'm waiting. Do a little bit slower, Arizona Blue. I'll catch your ass. <laughs>